This is an update method and this is the void method we want to call. I have pasted the offset in method patching library and run the script. As you can see, my game has progressed to the next level. This is the simplest way to hook void using GG. This demonstration was just a trailer and the whole film is yet to come. In the film, we will learn using one void method to hook many other methods, passing parameters into a void method, hooking non-void method with void hook function, and some secret tips which only the people watching to the last will get to know about. For void hooking, you will have to install method patching library. If you haven't watched this video, you don't know what methods are and how to install method patching library. In short, you first have to go to this link, download the code, copy the downloaded code and paste at the top of your script. Then again go to the site and copy the code for void hook and paste at your script. Method patching library is successfully installed and ready to use. But I still recommend you to watch this video so that you can understand what are we actually doing and how to get method like this and other background information. In the beginning of the video, we saw an example of void hooking. Here, we hooked one method without parameters. In the target offset, we put update method offset and in destination offset, we put method we wanted to call. We can hook multiple method using single update offset. For example, the offset for quit game method is this. So, I will just add another table and change the destination, leaving the target offset same. Now, both next label and quit game method will be hooked with a single update offset. Now, I will run the script and as you can see our game has closed this is because i called the quit game method passing parameters in void method is easy this method was not taking any parameter so we set the parameter key empty if the function was taking parameter like this then we will modify our code to include the parameter we can pass many parameters for example if it was taking two parameters we will edit our code as this. This method written type was void, but we can also hook non-void method like this. The method will still run, but the written value this method returns will be ignored. There are two different cases in non-void hooking. It will work in one case and won't work in other case. Let's say there is a method called float get health. In this condition, the method itself does not do anything. It is a method that is used by another method to read the value of health. In this case, it's the color method who decides what to do with the return value. So, if we call this method with void hooking, this method will be called. It will also run, it will also keep return value, but as this method was not called by the appropriate method who is going to use the return value, nothing will happen. Now, let's consider another non-void function like add health. And this method is called by show health bar method. In this case, if we hook add health with void hook, then the method will be hooked, we can get more health. But the health bar will not get updated as show health bar function did not call add health. If you watched this video until now, then congratulations, you are now an intermediate void hooker using Gum Guardian. Now you can get secret tips which will take your understanding to the next level and make you a pro. The first tip is using repeat count. Unlike other function in method patching library, void hooking has a key called repeat. A pro should know how to use it properly. In the target offset, we mostly put update offset because update offset are called each frame or in simple words, update offsets are called many many times a second. 
so to activate the cheat instantly we use update offset as a target so that we don't have to wait for the cheat to get activated however you might not want to call the destination method many times let's say there is a method called increase player speed and you hook this method to get 5x speed then it might get called many times a second let's say it got called 30 times a second which means the speed multiplier will run 30 times in a second and the player speed will be this in this case obviously your game will crash immediately or get freezed so we utilize the repeat count we will change the repeat count from infinite to one and run now your player will get 5x speed and it will run only one time and your game will not crash in this game there is a jump method when hooked it with infinite repeat my player will auto jump again and again and again and keep repeating this but when i hook it with a repeat count one my player will jump one time and stop let's unlock the second tip if you are trying to hook in method the target offset should also be from the same class let's say the update offset is in different class and the void function you want to hook is in another class then it will not work they both should be in the same class the third and most important tip is that you don't need update method in the place of target offset in fact this method can be anything what the void hook method does is it injects the code inside the target method to call the destination method so this method can be any method the reason we mostly use update method offset is because update method is called many times a second so our cheat can be activated immediately now you can pin my website somewhere and every time you need to copy some codes you can come here and copy anything you want the website will contain the official format of this code so if you copy code from here then the chances of mistakes will be less if you start typing the code by looking at the video then you might get mistakes and get this kind of error good luck keep learning Infinite power.